Hello everybody and welcome back to our Let's Play series of Demon Souls. We are going to continue on with our third video in the series. First, we're going to head on over to the Nexus. Explain the nexus to thee. Okay, so with Demon Souls, you can't really level up your character until you have defeated the first main boss, which is the Phalanx Demon. Now that we have defeated that boss, we're going to first talk to the Monumental, which is then going to let us level up. Talking to the Monumental will also provide more history with the story of the game. We have long awaited you, Slayer of Demons. I am one of the Monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is a tale I wish to tell you. Once, we too were a scourge of demons faced. In the distant past, under benevolent rule, the world was united owing to the soul arts. Until a lust for power caused the awakening of the old one. Across the land seeped a colorless, deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be, we were able to lull the Old One back to its slumber. Yet only after the loss of innumerable souls, and most of the world lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six leaders with six precious archstones. One to the king of a small yet industrious land. One to the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One to the shaman of the tempest-worshipping shadowman. And the last to the great giants of the northern lands. The archstones were placed in the fringelands that survived. We contained the old one here below the nexus and prohibited the soul arts. Finally, we became monumentals, half-living sentinels of the fabric of reality. A 
alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. Now it is your turn. You must lull the old one back to its slumber and seal it away for all eternity. If not, a deep fog will absorb all that we know. Have you the strength to bear this burden? Yes. We are fortunate indeed to have you. Now, go forth and destroy every last demon. The old one, without demons to feed its souls, will a new servant seek and lure you to its bosom. Okay, so for the rest of this episode, we're primarily just going to explore the Nexus a little bit and kind of talk to some of the NPCs that are within the Nexus. services. The name's Baldwin. I'm just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons. Or forge the ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, eh? Now, if you haven't there's another blacksmith at the entrance to Stone Fang Mine. He's an eccentric old man. He knows his trade well. He's the only sane one left in the town of soul starved men. If you do meet him, no, I get it. That stubborn old near will will just chase you off. Okay, so at this blacksmith, you will actually be able to repair your equipment. So for example, you're just going to look at your weapons or your armor and you can just click on it and you can hit confirm and now your weapon is at 100% durability again. You can also upgrade your weapon depending on how many materials you have. So for example, you can turn your scimitar into a plus one, which will give it a little more damage output. You can also purchase items such as healing items like Crescent Mooncrass, or you can pick up some extra weapons or even arrows, which are important as well. You come back alive. I need your business. I'm Stockpile Thomas. When the scubs came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here in this nexus. My wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. 
So with Stockpile Thomas, you can actually drop off some materials and items that you find along the levels that you travel through. And that's going to lessen your item burden. Oh, and the lead demon soul was the soul that we just picked up after defeating the phalanx demon. Rest assured, your goods are safe and sound with me. Best of luck to you. When the scourge came, I abandoned my wife and daughter and fled like a coward. When I came to, I was in this nexus. I haven't dared venture outside these walls since. I wish I could do more, but <laughs> I am ignorant of the world beyond these walls. My candle maiden cared for me during my first days here. She says very little, but a kind heart. She's just the age my young daughter would have been. Poor, poor girl. Trapped here with her eyes occluded by wax. If only something could be done to help her. from afar, are you? May you enjoy victory in battle. Mombasa. I have sinned. I swore allegiance to Saint Abain, but was of no use to him. And now, I have run away and abandoned his augustness. So these three characters are going to be of the faith variety. So you're just going to want to keep talking to them throughout the playthrough, and then more dialogue will, bit, will get revealed. the magic of the soul arts to make it possible for human imitation. By observing the state of Boletaria and the demons within it, he is likely to pave the way for greater things. All the more reason that I must meet Master Frake as soon as possible. And in this area of the Nexus, if you are making a magic or intelligence build, you're going to want to be hanging out over here, because this guy will be able to sell you spells. And later on, an even more impressive magical character will be able to sell you spells. That ornament. That belongs to my daughter. She didn't make it after all. My dearest little baby. May she rest in peace. 
me ask a favor? Would you mind giving me that hair on? I'd like to have it in memory of my daughter. You're a saint. Thank you. Thank you so much. And then this character right here is actually going to be the character that's going to be able to level up our character. Brave soul for whom death is no fear. Prithee, lull the old one back to its ancient slumber. the demon inside me. Let these vagabond souls become thine own. Okay, so when you seek soul power, that is when you're going to be able to actually upgrade your character. example we currently have just over 6,000 souls and to get to the next level to upgrade we would have to spend 811 souls and you just kind of pick a category and you're just gonna tally up as you go currently some categories that are gonna be of use right away in the beginning are gonna be vitality which is for your health primarily and endurance which is gonna allow you to be able to run longer attack longer and block longer for example and it kind of, you look at the categories when you click one, it shows you which fields it's going to update. So for example, vitality, more HP and a higher item burden and your defense raises, for example. So we'll just upgrade a little bit of vitality, a little bit of endurance, and a little bit of strength. That is essentially our tour of the Nexus. I would like to thank everybody for tuning in, and we will talk again real soon.